Bio-inspired urban features, designing adaptive facade networks to reimagine the city's ecosystem, by Yarisa Masolini. This topic was presented in the 2016 Facade Work Conference in Los Angeles, and as the as the author said, this is more than a project; it's a provocation to change the city as we perceive it. She has been saying that we need to change the city the way we perceive the city, the way we use the city, and how can we interact with all the urban fabric and not just keep doing the same things that we are doing in, in cities, such as um, this video here shows the perception, a new way to use the urban fabric. You will see here how she does um, use the urban fabric in her own way by jumping over roofs of Paris. She changes the way the urban fabric is being utilized. Uh, the city as an ecosystem, it's a very interesting um, topic that cities can be envisioned as an ecosystem since they're encompassed of many interacting habitats and build components with a physical environment. Basically, the city is an environment itself. It has a lot of ecosystems and how people can interact with each other. An ecosystem is um, the community of an organism in a specific habitat and the environment conditions under in which they live. This was written by Wilson um, in the Diversity of Life from Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1992. Everything is interconnected and it's a supporting energy of nutrients that transform within each other. And then the next topic is resilience. A resilience is the long capacity of a system to be an individual, a forest, a city, an economy to deal with changes and to continue to develop. And that is what most of the cities in the world are doing right now. They're trying to survive the urban futures. They're using interconnected features of natural ecosystems as an inspiration. We advocate for an ecosystem vision of urban planning that um, can deal with change and continue to develop itself just as our economic system or way the cities are are built today. The method, it's uh, the cluster. The cluster, um, by finding inspiration in nature, this is what everything is about, to find how nature solves problems. This research, this research focus on developing and clustering dynamic building facades by taking cues. Um, the cluster also, adaptive reuse, can be thought through adaptive reuse of bu uh, building facades. This clustering should be, or is, um, is used by uh, Mussolini as something that can have environmental benefits and economic and social benefits as well. By proposing interconnected facades, the idea of interconnectivity relies on the efficiency of the system, system integration, share among clusters, with focus on minimizing repetition in equipment in each building. So basically, each building is sharing equipment to create a more diverse uh, society. And this facade should also be a responsive system, uh, similar to living organisms. Mm. By reacting to local environmental conditions, incorporating responsive features such as dynamic shading to regular solar radiation and pro producing wind and solar energy, the energy, uh, it's by default zero net, and it's positive produced in a multitude of ways within involving the urban environment. The method, uh, it's hubs. Hubs are places for resources to collection, such as water storage, redistribution, feeding. So the, the entire idea is basically sharing building resources within each other to create a database a big database where every building can contribute to all others and that way forming a, a better better society or a better urban fabric as a whole. The design proposal for, um, for this project is based on three neighborhoods. The first one 
is downtown Los Angeles. Second one is Chicago Riverfront, and the third one it's uh, in Italy, which is where the um, me studio is from, where Mussolini Mussolini studio. So downtown Los Angeles was chosen because it has some Mediterranean climate. Los Angeles temperatures are typically consistent between seasons with nearly 300 days a year of predominantly clear and sunny skies. The climate has a lot of pollution which needs to be something that needs to get fixed. And the inspiration for um, this project was based on the Caltrans building. This proposed facade system in Los Angeles incorporated a series of modular panels designed to either opaque insulation photovoltaic and reactive properties which can be built building clusterings in different ways depending on their function Chicago Riverfront was the second chosen second location chosen for this project the climate in Chicago is greatly influenced by Lake Michigan and named the Windy City for its westerly winds uh, reaching annually average speeds of 10 miles per hour and annual rainfall reaching 38 inches. Porto Nova, Milan was also the third site for this project and it is um, it's been famous recently because it's the place where mixed use develop area in the city is, is being um, done which is the Bos Bosco Verticale one of the most famous projects in Italy after all this research, the preliminary conclusion, conclusions of this um, provocation was that the cluster optimized redistribution of building functions serving serving the city the, the necessity of the need of cities. So by proposing this system, cities can become smarter and share their share their um, 